Hello. So playing with our Electrics cute bot and we're going to do some motion here with it. Just code it in make code, so make code.microbit.org. Uh, being that it's run by a microbit, you can also code it um, in MicroPython. Uh, JavaScript. What else? So we can do some JavaScript. We could do some Python. I've already written a little code that I had it do. I don't want you to have to mess with that right now. Tell you more about it. No, let's get you out of the way. We'll get to you in a minute. Um, so, you know, you open up your make code and it blank starts off like that. Now, you see down here in the uh, trays that there's a cute bot and a NeoPixel set of blocks. You have to go get those. Um, so those are extensions. Didn't mean to move that. Which there's two ways to get to extensions. One is here where it says extensions. The other is in the upper right at the gear, the settings, and you click on extensions. And if you just Google CuteBot, that pops up. And then you click that, and it will install both the CuteBot and the NeoPixels. So we're getting ready to make our CuteBot move. So let's look at some of the options here. Uh, you can set two different speeds for each wheel. Obviously negative is backwards. There's this block here to just do both wheels kind of thing. It's going to set both wheels at some semblance. So forward means you know, 50% and gives you a time. So it's important because the time is, it does like everything for you on turning. The, the, the combination of percent, speed, and time tells you how far you're going to turn. So that's something you always got to play with. Uh, same thing backwards. You don't have to mess with negative. You just say go backwards. And then the left and the right, again, it's, it's, it depends on how long you make it do this and what speed you pick is how far you're going to turn. But it kind of takes out the play of my, you know, how much am I doing with the right wheel, left wheel? It's kind of making it do it by itself, sort of. You don't have to think too much, but that's okay. Uh, go straight at full speed, reverse its full full speed, turn left at full speed. I mean, this is all stuff you could do with these blocks up here. They're just trying to make it easier for you. Um, so stop. Okay. So there's our motion things. And uh, so you gotta fiddle with them to get the kinds of motion that you want. And then of course we've got all the, the lights and the tracking states and everything down there. So what I did is I made this set of code and I had it uh, repeat something. And I set the headlights to be different each time it um, went to an extra peak. So I've done three different things. So just setting the headlights to, to a color was just to so I could differentiate what motion was happening. So go straight for two, for 0.2 seconds, 200 milliseconds. Uh, set left wheel speed at 100 and right, right wheel speed at 40 percent. Means it's going to turn to the right. Now again, that that those are variables that you got to play with, along with this pause for how far it's going to turn. I mean, if I set left wheel speed at 100 and right wheel speed at zero and do the same amount of time, it's going to turn different. Something you've got to play with and experiment with. Um, you get them more equal, it's going to be less of a turn, more of a, like if it did 100% or 90%, it's just going to kind of veer kind of a little bit. Um, so we so we go straight, we turn right a bit, then we're going to go straight again, and then we're going to turn left at the same Thing. So we're kind of do, doing it symmetrically to see how things happen. And I have it do that four times. That's a nice repeat block. And then I have go do something eight times. I've changed the headlights color just so I know that it's um, happening. Uh, go straight. For, I'm kind of using the same amount of time just for fun. Just no real reason. Not for fun. Just to be consistent. Um, and then turn to the left. For a second, and then it just kept, pops back up top of the to the top of the repeat. Go straight, turn left. Go straight, turn left. Go straight, turn left. And 
So like the first set of motion, it's going to kind of work its way um, sideways. Kind of, I mean, it's going to go straight and turn, then go straight and turn the other way. So it's going to work its way across the floor, going back and forth. Um, maybe think about it like, like a lawnmower kind of thing, going up, turning, going up the other way, turning the other So, um, And then this is going to be kind of like um, an oval track. Yeah, it's going around the going around the oval track, and then finally I did again switch a headlight color, and then go straight full speed for this and turn left, and I just flipped fifty for no real reason. What I was trying to aim for is kind of like going in a polygon um, to see what kind of turns these are making. Thinking square, triangle-ish. Um, so go straight. Set the left wheel speed low and the right wheel speed high. We're just going to turn left because the right's going to be going faster than the left. Um, and turn for a whole second. So kind of trying to make a polygon here and see what we get. Again, the combination of right wheel, left wheel, and time is going to tell you how much it's going to turn. Now, some robots actually have a turn a certain amount of degrees. This code doesn't have that. you got you got to figure out um the combinations to get your certain degrees so coming up is the video of it moving along hello everybody i have my little uh, cute bot here from electrics and i programmed it to uh, move so uh, do some different turning it's a little bit of straights Here we go. So as you see, it moves pretty quickly. So that's kind of the front speed that it is. And there we go. And then there's some little, like, a oval things. Now we're going to just turn left. And then we'll go back to that. And of course... So we come back here, put it back down. Um, so obviously it's going to work its way with your uh, your turning the speed and how long you have to turn for to go from here to left. So you got to try on those, and you got to turn up those speeds to higher, and turn to left to higher. Those are going to match the direction you want to go from the front, and the other just sit as a pivot point kind of thing so it goes pretty quick I should do a, uh, a drag race to see how fast it actually goes um, so it's just simple make code go straight turn uh, change the speeds on both wheels kind of thing it's gonna run into stuff here oh, oh it ran away from me So, there's some play. 